Welcome to video 24 of Maths on 3D Shapes. Prisms and Pyramids A prism is a shape that has identical ends, called bases, and flat sides between the two bases that are parallelograms, and often, as in the case here, rectangles. If you cut a prism along its length, each cross section with the same size and shape. Prisms are named according to the shape of their ends. For example, triangular prism, square prism, hexagonal prism, pentagonal prism, rectangular prism, and octagonal prism. Square prisms are called cubes, and rectangular prisms are known as cuboids, and those are the names that should be used for these two shapes. A trapezium-based prism can also be called a trapezoid. A pyramid is a 3D shape where the base is a polygon and the sides are triangles that meet at a point. Like prisms, pyramids are named according to the shape of their base. For example, square pyramid, triangular pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, and pentagonal pyramid. As we'll see on the next slide, a triangular pyramid can also be called a tetrahedron, as tetra means four, and it has four sides. Icosahedron. Icosahedron are 3D shapes where every side is the same shape. For example, a tetrahedron has four triangles, a hexahedron has six squares, an octahedron has eight triangles, a dodecahedron has 12 pentagons, and an icosahedron has 20 triangles. Curved 3D shapes. There are three curved 3D shapes you need to know. Sphere, cylinder, and cone. Technically, a cylinder is not a prism and a cone is not a pyramid because they have curved sides. However, they are very similar and work the same mathematically. And so, a cylinder is often referred to as prism-like and a cone as pyramid-like. All 3D shapes have length, width and height. They have a number of faces, that is a flat side, a number of edges, that is a line where two faces meet, and a number of vertices, that is corners where three or more faces meet. The singular for vertices is vertex, or one corner. Volume. The volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height, which can be written as V equals BH. Sometimes this is seen as the area of the base times the length, in which case is V equals BL. Cuboids. We know from the previous slide that the volume of any pyramid is base times height. The base of a cuboid is a rectangle, and we know that the area of the rectangle is length times width. So if we place base in this formula with length times width, we get length times width times height. So the volume of a cuboid is length times width times height. You need to know that without working it out. Cubes. The volume of a cuboid is length times width times height. But in a cube, all the sides are the same length. So that's the same as length times length times length, or length cubed. Units. The units for volume are the units for distance cubed such as centimetres cubed and metres cubed. And that's because I'm multiplying it three times, centimetre times centimetre times centimetre. Volume of a pyramid. The volume of a pyramid is one third the volume of a prism. That means it's one third the area of the base times height, area of the base times height being the volume of the prism. For curved 3D shapes with the same radius, the ratio of the volume is one to two to three, for cone to sphere to cylinder. Surface area. To calculate the surface area of a 3D shape, we need to work out the area of all the faces added together. To calculate the surface area of a 3D shape with equal sides, calculate the area of one face and multiply it by the number of faces. So here, the area of one side is six centimeters squared. The squares kind of disappeared off, I'm afraid. So it will be eight sides, so it'll be eight lots of that six, six times eight, which gives me a surface area of 48 centimetres squared. It is squared, not cubed, because it's an area of the outside, it's not the volume. Surface area of a prism. In a prism, you have two each of three different types of sides, generally. So for example, in this prism here, I've got two sides, 
the same as that pink side here, two sides with the area of this white side here, and two sides with the area of this blue side here. So I need to work out the area of each side. In this case, the pink will be 2 times 3, which will be 6. The white will be 2 times 5, which is 10. And the blue is 3 times 5, which is 15. So I need to multiply each of those by 2, which will give me 12, 20, and 30. And I simply add them up to find the surface area. Nets. Some 3D shapes, like cubes and pyramids, can be opened out and unfolded into a flat shape. The unfolded shape is called the net of the solid. The flat shape must contain the same sides as the faces of the 3D shape. For example, in square base pyramid, I have a square at the base and I have four triangles around. And here my net, I've got one square and four triangles. In this triangular prism, I have two triangles, one on each end, and I've got three rectangles between them. So here I've got two triangles and three rectangles. Thank you. Bye for now.